physical fitness, academic enrichment, and life skills were in full display at a recent camp hosted by NFL Hall of Famer and former Detroit Lion All-Pro offensive tackle, Lomas Brown. Dozens of young people gathered at Southfield's Hope United Methodist Church to partake in a summer camp that organizers hope would have a positive impact on them. During the school year, there's, you know, a focus on, you know, just the academics. Lifestyles have changed. Parents don't have as much time to spend with their children. You know, they're working two jobs. The economy's suffering. So what we find is that a lot of times the extra time to help students with social etiquette, to help them improve in certain skill levels, to help them plan for a successful future, there's just not time built into the day for that to happen. And so therefore, we are you know, trying to bridge that gap. To me, the youth are our most important resource. And if we don't nurture that resource, then we're gonna lose that resource. And you know, with everything that's going on, the economic situation, just all the despair, cutbacks, everything that's going on now, you know, it's even more for us as adults to step up and try to help our youth. So this youth camp is just a stepping stone to kind of help our youth to show them alternative ways. The camp was designated as the LEAP Camp a program designed to teach life skills, educational techniques, and valuable sports and fitness routines. What we want to try to stress is the educational piece. You know, we already have the, the play part. We got that pretty much down, but what we have to stress, especially in this community, especially with our youth, is the educational portion of it. So that's why I'm so happy about the LEAP Camp. If you look at any statistics, our children in the United States, the number one academic gap is critical thinking. Critical thinking is a life skill. Problem solving is a life skill. So throughout the nation it's already been identified as being the number one academic achievement gap. So we're trying to bridge that gap. We are really focusing on creativity and innovation in this camp. That's a new piece and uh, we'll be exploring uh, developing business ideas. So I'm hoping that that's a big takeaway this year. And taking care of your body because it's not just about playing sports. You know, it's about developing the skill sets as well as physical fitness. So we have a nice, um, a nice platter of everything. <laughs> the camp incorporated a course syllabus that covered lessons in social etiquette, critical thinking, problem solving, PC technology, and math. Items that Brown feels will be valuable to youth in the long term. You know, what we hope to get accomplished is if it's just one kid, you know, and we measure it small. If it's one kid that we can help turn around, one kid that we can say, that make them say, hey, you know, there's a different way of doing this, or this is something that I aspire to do. If I get one kid out of this program to do that, then to me it's a success, but that's how it's gonna start. You know, it, it starts by one kid at a time, and him taking, the turn, taking it and moving it on, and it growing and growing and growing. So, you know, I hope these kids learn from this. I hope they could take some things back from this. And I hope that one day these kids going through the program are our team coaches and helping other kids go through the program. While Brown enjoyed a stellar Hall of Fame career on the football field, he views the work that he's done off the field as his true legacy. And I think my legacy, I'm hoping that it was, it's a legacy where I gave back. That's what I want people to know me for, more so than what I did on the field, what, is, what I do off the field. And it's giving back to the community. It's helping young men realize their dreams. It's helping young ladies realize their dreams. So it's kind of like having the total package, being able to not only show them what I did on the field, but let them see and show them by examples what, what I'm doing off the field, too. The community is what made me, you know, coming in as an offensive lineman. People don't know you unless you hold in or you get your name called for doing something bad. So I wanted to come in and establish myself as doing something positive in the community. And that's how I built my name. You know, people actually know me more about what I do out in the community than some of the things that I did on the field, which to me, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm pleased that they know me in that, that, that way. So anytime I could give back, anytime I could try to help this community, then I try to do that, be it camps, be it going to charitable functions or whatever we have to do to try to pull up this community. While Brown continues his work in football, serving as a broadcaster for ESPN during the season, 
he has plans to continue expanding his summer camps. The thing we want them to know is that this camp, this is a camp that can be tailored to run a couple of weeks or we can run it six to eight weeks. But what we want to do is make sure that, that let everybody out there know that the kids have something to do every day. Some, it's something different, something productive that they're going to do every day. We don't treat, uh, teach traditional sports here. We do non-traditional sports because they can see that on TV. Everything we try to do is something to try to enhance these kids, so be it going through the learn part on the computer, the educational piece, or going through the play piece, uh, we try to give them something that they can grasp and hold on to. To learn more about the Lomas Brown Leap Camps, visit quantumleaps-u.com.